Hey y'all, it's Core, with Everyday Man, doing everyday reviews for everyday people. Today I'd like to do a review on this ATN Excite 4K Pro, and we'll get with it right after this. Okay y'all, so I want to talk to you about this 4K uh, scope by ATN. I've been using it now for a year. I've used it all hunting season and I bought it last hunting season. Um, I heard a lot of horror stories about these scopes when I bought it. So that's why I wanted to use it for a while before I gave you guys a review. Um, I bought it initially to put on a uh, magazine fed semi-automatic 223 that we won't show here in this video because YouTube don't like that a whole lot. But I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Now I bought it and I put it on that gun to use exclusively for pig hunting after dark. So I found myself carrying two rifles to my deer stand. I would bring my 270 and deer hunt during the day and when the sun goes down, I would hook this scope up, turn it on, and start to use it for pig hunting. And the more I used it, the more confidence I gained in this scope to where this year I exclusively hunted with that 223 with this scope. And I got three fairly nice deer this year on my property with it. And I'll go ahead and show you that right now. I got these three deer right here. Uh, this first one's an eight point, really nice deer. And I got these two seven points following it. Um, so I've, I've, I've gained a lot of confidence in this scope to where I do only carry this one. Now, two of my friends have them as well. And I will say this, all three of us had, have had, excuse me, have had problems with these scopes. Uh, my first buddy that had one, the crosshairs on his disappeared and they wouldn't come back. He had to get in touch with ATN's customer service, which I will tell you with Johnny on the spot, they sent him out a new scope immediately, sent his back and, and he was happy with it. Um, and now he's exclusively hunting with his as well. Um, another friend of mine missed the opportunity of killing a deer on my property actually, because his froze up on him and he couldn't turn on, couldn't turn off, couldn't do anything with it. And he was actually trying to, to shoot a deer at the time and it really didn't work out well. Now mine, the problems I've had with mine, mine will not record video with recoil activation. It's a feature that's not working on mine right now. And I know if I call them that they will tell me to do a factory uh, or a firmware update, which I'm okay with. But the problem with that is I didn't want to do that during hunting season because this thing was sighted in for my 223 and I didn't want to affect that at all. And I really wasn't super concerned with the recall activated video. I think that's a great feature if you're a younger hunter and someone's trying to give you pointers. Um, but somebody has been doing it as long as I, I have. Uh, I'm really confident with the scope. I, I don't miss a whole lot with it, and uh, I really didn't feel the need to be real concerned about the, the recoil activated video. Now, I can still take manual video, and I do. It also takes great pictures. Now, as far as daytime use scope, the scope works really well. It's a 3 uh, by 14. Now, I will say this. Uh, this is the zoom wheel on it. Now, once you zoom out past, I would say, 10 or 11, it does become a, a bit grainy. But even past that up to 14, it is definitely usable. Now at night, um, depending on the light, the light it came with, uh, it did okay. And it used a, a odd camera battery that was rather expensive. So I purchased this light for it because it uses an 18650. And I have a lot of 18650s and I always have one charged. So I'm able to carry an extra one and always have one there. But with this light, I can see well past what I'm comfortable shooting with, with this scope. Um, I can see out 250 yards with this light in the pitch black with no moon rather easily. And I'm really not gonna be shooting past that anyhow. So I think it really works well at night. Uh, let's go ahead and, and talk you through the app. We'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay guys, so the first thing you wanna do is you want to go to your Wi-Fi settings and my scope is already connected. You can see it, Excite 4K. And then we will open the app. ATN, it says Excite there. And when you open that, you can go to your systems menu and a lot of your, uh, a lot of your different options will be right here on the systems menu. 
We can flip to day and night, and that's really going to be the thing you use the most. Um, now, um, environment, it'll tell you the humidity, wind direction, stuff like that. Now, this is a really neat function. I've only got one profile in there because I only use it on one gun right now, but it does fit on a Picatinny rail. And if I were to swap it from gun to gun, it's right here. I could add different profiles and use it for more than one rifle, which is really neat. Now, the rectangle, rectangle style is pretty cool. Um, we're actually seeing a picture of it right now in my kitchen. But I can choose different, different rectangles and colors. So if we go to viewfinder, now this is inside my kitchen and it's not going to take a real good video because everything is really close to it. But that's it through the viewfinder. Then we can go to gallery. Now here's, here's some pictures that I've taken with it. Um, some video I've taken with it. And here's a night picture, three deer. Here's a night picture facing the back of my food plot. Now, this is in the pitch black, and that's that's quite a bit of ways. That tree line on the back is probably 130 yards. Here's a daytime picture. This is over 100 yards to this feeder from my stand, and it's a good daytime picture. Um, here's a really good picture. This deer was really close, this little guy. I was able to take a really good picture of him, or her, I should say. But this thing does really excellent and low to no light at all. It, it really, it really is sharp. It's very nice. It's a picture of a little buck in my food plot, little fella. Hopefully he'll be nicer next year. Now I took this video. Um, I want to show you guys and forgive me about the sound of it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it. So as you can see, uh, I'm sorry about the sound of that video. I was trying to whisper. It was right after the sun went down. It was prime hunting time. I didn't want to be real loud. But I wanted to, to show you guys that, that that this scope, even in night mode when it's getting a little dark, is uh, it's really just it's a great scope. Like I said, being able to look through the viewfinder on your phone is really neat. And that's it with the app. We'll get back up up top.
while recording this video, my buddy didn't like this red chair that was sitting out there behind me. So he decided to go pick it up. Wind blew it in. It is quite windy today. And this microphone I'm using is actually doing an excellent job of keeping this wind out. So as you can see, the app is really nice. Um, the video is a little bit laggy through the, the phone, but it's really neat. It's really neat that I can screen mirror my phone to my TV at my camp and pig hunt right out the window and everybody can see what I'm looking at through the scope on the TV. That's a really cool feature. Um, it's really nice, man. I, I, I would go ahead and buy another one of these. Now I can't attest to the longevity of it. That makes me a little nervous. You know, you go buy a Zeiss and you know that's a lifetime scope. I will use that forever. A good friend of mine just sent a 30 year old Leopold back to Leopold and they are gonna send him a brand new scope. Um, so I don't think a scope like this is gonna last 30 years. But in the $600 price range for what it does, I think it's really excellent. I love the, the night capabilities with it. It works really well during the day and it's a really good all around scope and I've been 100% happy with it. So I'm gonna leave a link to the scope and this light and mount that I use down below. If you guys purchase through it, I will get a little percentage off of it. it. Doesn't cost you any more, but it does help my channel out. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope if you were on the fence about buying one of these ATN scopes that I kind of helped you out. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Until I see y'all next time, guys, this is Corey on Everyday Man.